Because the other one is in the book that I really like. Well, it's a so here we are today, the Canadian Living, Complete Canadian Living Baking Book. Our favorite topic from, I guess, our favorite magazine with Elizabeth and Adele. And I want to ask you a couple of quick questions, though, because I know you go coast to coast and then test rest. We hear from all the readers and everything else. Do you find there's a regionality to baking? I know there is for cooking in Pars Canada, but what about baking? Do you find there's regional things as well that you like to... Oh, there's definitely regional yep. things. There's a lot of bread baking in the, in the West, especially in, in Alberta. So you'll, okay. you'll find lots of good bread recipes. Uh, and, and we have some Quebec recipes, like the tarte au sucre, the sugar right. pie. You have to have one of those. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And then we have a tortillere, because the book is not only uh, sweet things, it's also savory. Savory as well, yeah. yes. Uh, and um, something that I think of is really southwestern Ontario, but other people might yes. claim it. And that would be a wonderful chicken pot pie. Oh. There's nothing That's, better than a good chicken. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then there's oat, lots of things with the oatmeal because you've got oat cakes mm -hmm. and oat bread, which really bespeaks uh, the, 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 the East Coast. East Coast. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a yeah. maritime. Right. So, so, so that sprinkled through the book, there are lots of references to different uh, ingredients and also to different traditions of baking. And, and that's wonderful to read when you're looking at it, because people love to read their cookbooks as much as you use them. Oh yeah, well what, yeah. what else do they read when they go to bed? Well, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I mean that's what we read. And now Adele, you were in the you test and kitchen. Paul both Paul, read them. Well, no, he might read them and say, I'd like this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make this now? Yeah, and my husband does that. And now Adele, you're in the test kitchen, I so do. and with baking things, you know, we always find people either like to bake or they like to cook. They choose one over the other. I'm a big baker. You're a big baker. <laughs> so there we go. Now, do you find, though, we get people say, you know, the recipe didn't work or this didn't work. And we were talking about, just earlier, about measuring of ingredients. Like people like, when they take their measuring cup, scoop into their flour. Oh, right. No, we, oh, no. we like no, to no. spoon in. We spoon, spoon. in and level that's off. And that's how we measure yeah. that. And, and I think you talk about that. That's the whole tradition, yeah. 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 And that's, the, that's really the most accurate way. So. Yeah. And that's very important that you measure your ingredients. I mean, baking is so much more precise matter that you have to measure the ingredients. It know? is important yeah. to get the results that you yeah. want. And, and the, the other result. thing is to read the recipe before you start. Yeah, that's it's probably amazing. The I know. But that's, now then, that's the same though as when you get, you know, you buy a new stereo or something and nobody reads the directions and you start putting it together. <laughs> so those people are all in the and same And make camp. sure you have everything in <laughs> yeah. the kitchen so you don't have to run to the neighbors in yeah. the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's yeah. like Ikea when you've got the leftover pieces or something, right? And then, whoops, a daisy, now what? Oh, I now forgot what? the salt. Oh, yeah. I forgot the vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. But, and, and do you use salted or unsalted butter in your... We use you a combination. Both, I would you? say we use both. I think we're Where moving to use using salted? some unsalted. I like salted bread, butter and shortbread. I happen to like oh, that a little bit yeah. of saltiness. Some people like unsalted. Um, In a buttercream, we'd always use unsalted because it's too salty otherwise. Right. You just taste the salt. Uh, and or you if, want to measure and if you're, Yeah, mm -hmm. and if you're, if you're doing something like the, these uh, uh, Asiago uh, sesame seed crisps. Oh, which are to die for in the book. Absolutely. Yeah, they're wonderful. already salty, so that if you use salted butter in that instance, yeah. it would be too salty. Right. So because there's any it's kind of cheese has got a lot of a lot of salt. So so but uh, but. But we control know. for the salt. So yes. if you're using salted butter, then we will really control the amount of right. salt that gets added. If you're using unsalted. And you test things obviously as a result from talking about this. Then you we, obviously test. We do. We do. Because you develop, develop everything in house, don't you? In you house. Don't take a, unless in you do house. a contest or something like yeah, that. Yeah. We don't. We don't cook house. on the computer. We cook in the in the kitchen. What a relief. So what a relief. We write on the computer, but then we go into the kitchen yeah. and What's we taste most, each other's. But yeah. you must get people writing in. and th What do you find the most common um, query? I'm not going to say complaint, but the question when something doesn't work. Like, what, if, what People want to know why. And so what we do is we will communicate with them. Right. Sometimes emails back and forth until we sort of figure out. It's like a detective. Thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll find out what, yeah. what, and we usually do Can find out. out. Yeah, yeah, we usually yeah. do. Yeah. Sometimes we know because we've had questions and where something went wrong, somebody else right. might have gone wrong. Um, but that's good because I found for many years people would, if it, something didn't work, they would tend to just say, oh, well, that, that was my fault, right? But never well, question the recipe. Not. And well, exactly. Sometimes and sometimes I find it better now. People are much more questioning of books and recipes. Well, it, I think one of, the, one of the really important things is not only the test kitchen experience, but also the editing experience. And that's kind yes. of, a lot of people don't realize, but you really have to be extremely careful that you describe things. And that you foresee, as a recipe developer or an editor, mm -hmm. you foresee where the problem might be, might be. For example, if you're making um, a, a cookie and you know it's going to flatten a little right. bit, or the the 
batter may be, t be thick. I think you yep. need to tell the, the user about right. those kinds of things so that they, they're no surprises. You do not want to surprise people. You want them to follow through the recipe and yep. be completely at ease and say, wow, I did it. I'm, you know, I'm great. Yeah. And then you'll mix them more. Right. Well, well, butter cream. But butter cream is a great example because it will yes. curdle and then it comes back together. Yeah. But yeah. if you think it just curdled, then you're like... But that's what they learn so good for, though. Yeah. I mean, they explain everything in a way that really it's like you're just standing there and saying, now, Allison, you've got to do this. Yeah. The whoops thing is, you didn't do that, so now you've got to do this. Oh, so right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. my shoulders. Yeah. 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 I mean, it is. I mean, it's step very, step. very good. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming today. Thank you. And it was pretty self-serving because you brought us great treats, too. No. <laughs> Savory yeah. and sweet. Savory and sweet. Would we call that a bribe? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>